to attend several Dayton organizations celebrated September as Recovery Month with a pop-up concert. The concert was called Hope Changes Everything, a message that many recovery outlets believes pushes many people into the recovery process. Two News reporter Caroline Morse joins us live downtown with what's new at 10. Caroline. Well, Levitt Pavilion behind me was filled earlier tonight with the Hope Changes Everything concert. Over two dozen recovery outlets were here talking with residents about resources available to them right here in the city. Now, even some of those volunteers I spoke with are in recovery themselves, and they said step one of the process is knowing that there's a brighter future ahead. That like hope changes everything. And from that day forward, I just decided that I was going to pick recovery as a lifestyle. 14 years ago, Stephanie Robinson chose to start her recovery journey from drug and alcohol addiction, a life she thought would never be possible. However, the worst days of her addiction became the best during recovery, all thanks to having hope. And there is so much hope. We work with families every day that think this can never be better, this can never change. And I'm telling you, it can change and it can change really fast. It can change one day at a time, and you're not alone. A total of 30 drug and alcohol recovery outlets hosted a community concert Tuesday called Hope Changes Everything. Someone is everyone's child, brother, sister, you know, mom, dad, and we need to be able to offer anyone with this disease the help and hope that they deserve. Woodhaven staff coordinator Leah Spence has dedicated her life to helping others through the recovery process. She's seven years clean and says one of the biggest lessons of hope she's learned is loving yourself even in the darkest of times. Like I've lost many um, to addiction because they didn't have the chance to find recovery. Um, and my biggest message is really it's self-love, learning to love yourself and just knowing that you're worth it. Aaron Kucharski with the Recovery Advocacy Project says what pushed him to seek recovery 19 years ago was knowing a bright future was ahead. All he had to do was choose hope. Whether they consider themselves to be in active uh, recovery or not, has something to give back um, to their communities and can, and can help somebody else. And that is really the cornerstone of what recovery is about, is one person helping another and healing communities together. Now, if you missed tonight's concert, don't worry. We have a list of those local recovery resources on our website at WDTN.com. Live in Dayton, I'm Caroline Morse. Two News working for you.